Hey everyone, Vaughn Dabney here from tinyhometruck.com. This episode is about the plumbing and electrical. It'll be a quick episode as the next episode you guys will surely enjoy. And that will be an unboxing of some of these components. So uh, let's start on the left side where I have my water system. So you guys can see I have the gray water and the potable water. So for those that don't know, potable water is water that you can drink, that you can wash with, that's clean, that's filtered most of the time. Uh, that would come from a container uh, that's similar to this. I, I think I wanna mount them underneath the truck and those will flow out the pipes into a strainer, then to the pump, uh, which will then lead into two pipes. So one will go to the water heater and one will go straight to the kitchen faucet. Uh, the piping coming out of the water heater will go to the shower. And actually right here, I have one going to the kitchen, but I think I'm actually going to remove that. I don't need hot water in the sink. The hot water really doesn't do anything when you're washing dishes, except to make it easier to get food off. But for the most part, I mean, I'm not gonna have that many dishes anyway. So I think I'm gonna just omit that altogether but there will be hot water to the shower. And then both systems have an output that comes to the gray water tank. And that's the water that has been used after a shower, after washing dishes, after washing your hands. This water is the dirty water. That's why it's called gray water because most likely it's gonna be gray or black. But the water system is, is pretty straightforward. The pump is a 12 volt pump and uh, it will run off the 12 volt system, which I'll explain in a minute over here on the electrical side uh, on the right but uh, the pump is pretty straightforward it's a quiet pump runs off 12 volts and uh, I haven't found a sink yet and I do have the shower basin right now so uh, that will come in some some episodes that will follow this one and you'll see me build out the shower and plan all that out so uh, this is the water system in a nutshell so now let's look at the electrical system. This was the fun part. So I knew I wanted plugs in my truck. And when you want plugs, uh, you need to get an inverter. An inverter takes a 12 volt uh, charge and basically converts it to 120 volts, which is what you'd find in your house or anything like that. So. Uh, I got a 40 amp charge controller by Renogy and what I plan to do is get four solar panels at 100 watts each, run them in parallel uh, to the charge controller and what the charge controller does is it monitors the battery voltage and when the battery voltage starts to drop, when the, when the charge of the battery starts to drop, the charge controller uses the voltage from the voltage and power from the solar panels to charge the battery so uh, essentially you know in your car your battery gets charged by the alternator the charge controller is like the alternator in this case using the solar panels power to do that and charge the battery with um, you see these red boxes with fuses here this is just to protect the system so uh, nothing is overheated or does it damage the system in any way so these are just for protection down here in the bottom left, I have two 12 volt batteries at 200 amp hours. I'm still working out, like this is one of the most complicated things uh, about the truck, figuring out your electrical components and what kind of usage you can get out of them. So I'm still doing the math on that. And I promise I will have a follow up video with everything that is involved with planning out your, your solar electrical system. I do know for a fact though that this system will work for me and what I want to do. Uh, the 400 watts is plenty of power and the two 12 volt batteries at 200 amp hours. Uh, normally you want to have your power match your amp hours for the battery. So I have two 200 amp hour batteries. So that means I have 400 amp hours and I have 400 watts of power to come in. So. Um, basically matching that power with the, uh, 
the rate of the batteries uh, seems to work well for people from what I found from my research. Uh, so basically I have the panels, I have the charge controller, uh, I have the inverter down in the bottom left or bottom right and that inverter will give me some outlets but most of my usage will come from the 12 volt system. Uh, less power is being used, it's more efficient and it's DC so AC and DC uh, voltage it's DC direct direct current and uh, I'll have the lights on there the USB outlets the water pump the backup and side view cameras will be on there and any other 12 volt accessories that I can put on there will be on there so um, again this is a, a very quick video and overview of both of my systems the water system and the electrical but stay tuned for the next video I might even release it early so make sure you subscribe down at the bottom right but I might even release that video early just so you guys can see some of the components that I've purchased all right thanks for following and uh, make sure you subscribe follow me on Instagram at tiny home truck and you can check out the website tinyhometruck.com Oh, these are the amps. I mean, the, uh, the fuses. So, with this, this is, hold on the light. This is a fuse, a 40 amp fuse. And basically, this will run, I'll have these everywhere, literally. Um, this is, 